right, let's check this out. In your mail, you are saying, here's my first attempt at a flight cycle. That is a good first attempt. Uh, you want a big flap and then a smaller one and then a short glide. I'm not sure if this still works. You focus on the wings and adding the main movement of the body. You use a lot of reference. And Brandon Bodie's flight tutorial, which is an awesome tutorial. I love that one. So you're saying you end up being confused, especially with the hips, because in some bigger birds, the hips seem to drag behind the chest, which in the tutorial is said to be wrong. I actually know exactly what you mean, and I completely agree. I know it's kind of a it's heresy to say, but um, so basically, if you have a small bird, you're going to have, I believe what he was saying, if I recall correctly, that the head and the hips are going up at the same time. So how you have this down and this up type of thing. Um, and not the traditional, if if the wings go and this brings up the chest, that this would drag, these guys would drag, the, the hips wouldn't really drag, they go up at the same time. So maybe I'm remembering it wrong and it's actually both here at the same time. I need to check again. The reason why I'm uh, wishy-washy on it is just because not a lot of people submit, you know, like little sparrows where it's where it looks right and it is right, I totally agree. When you have bigger creatures like that, I always feel like you can... Because they are so big and there's so much momentum and drive in this that the rest to me is just going to drag. It's going to be a more classical drag overlap look to it. Now, this might be technically wrong when compared to actual birds, especially smaller birds. But I think once you go bigger, 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 especially with this, you know, a human could be this big, a human could be this big. I think it's okay to cheat and have some sort of artistic license, dare I say, um, and drag the hips. But that's just me. Um, you know, you can absolutely disagree with that, even though it sounds like you are also more on that side. Um, it would be awesome if you could help me with the spacing and shapes of the wings. Well, let me look at the main thing before I go into the wings, because then you can address the wings later on. So to me, I'm going to look at this side here. So the main thing is that, again, do, do, actually the way you just uh, drew it out here, the moment you have a... I like that you're leading with the head too for more force. That's cool. But before I go into that, I would say, like by now-ish, it's kind of hidden, but you'll see it from the front view. I would buckle that, that back area. So here, instead of being flat like this, you would have the chest up like that. I'm exaggerating, but it would be something. Imagine that you're really bringing up you know, my face here. Like you really want to. Like it's such a big creature that it's doing its whole thing, and then it's not just doing. Like if you just a glide and just kind of adjustment flaps, it's okay. But if you have a big, like I gotta bring those big massive wings down, and there's so much wind resistance in those membranes in the wings. To me, I would really bring up that chest. It's an exaggerated curve, but the idea is that. So that at this point, you, you're almost with a head drag, if you don't lead with the head, right? You would have a bit more of a look like this, where the wings, and then you got whatever wing, um, you know, geometry, whatever it is, right? And then you got, I would do traditionally a head and tail drag. But I would for sure push... The chest area so it really goes it goes up because right now it feels like this area is doing all the work and it's not quite connected to this then i would say because of that the head would drag and the tail would drag and then the legs would drag because it's such a big up move let's see here and i think the amount that you have translate wise i think is okay but it seems like you're translating back. Let's pretend this is on a path. If we're putting this on a NURBS path or whatever, and it flies around. Um, I would just keep this straight up and down. So it doesn't go backwards. That will, if you have a forward motion, and at the same time you have a bit of a backwards thing in the chest, it's going to look weird. So I would try to keep it at a straight up and down. Now, before... I mean, I said with the head, but now you have a lead. Which is cool. So I will keep this, right? I would just exaggerate so that at this point, the head, I would just push it to see how far we can go before we break it. But I would go higher. I would really bring this up and you could potentially even rotate the head higher. So it really is a uh, uh, 
like it's really trying. Maybe it just maybe it just worked out and it's tired and muscles are tired. <laughs> it's just really trying hard to go up. Now that being said, since I'm already here on the head, uh, where's the front view here? That's a three quarter ish. There you go. So as the head goes up, whew, what I would do is on the down, it's maybe tilted this way, and then whew, on the up, it's tilted this way. Horns. Meaning that, if you look at my head here, it's more like a that type of thing, right? So a bit of a tilt this way and a bit of a left to right. I mean, that's all afterwards, after this pass, once you start going into asymmetry and all that good stuff. Um, but just something to keep in mind. And I don't know, I don't know your workflow. I don't know if you want to combine this already into your next pass. But anyway, I would do that. As you go up here, the legs would drag a bit. I think your arms are going down too soon. And what's happening now is that countering, they're almost going down the same amount as the chest goes up. So if you look at this, you can see how they look locked. Or they're fully IK arms and you just haven't animated them here and that's what's happening now. So I'm not sure. Um, whatever it is, I would do as it goes up, the arms would stay a bit and then would drag in this fashion. <clears throat> or... Since you are having a lead on the head, you can also potentially bring those arms up and curl the claws or the fingers, the toes, right? So it's more like a, it's kind of, it wants to go up and it's tightening its arms, which then you might argue, yeah, but if it's doing that, you could potentially bring in the legs a bit. And there's all kinds of stuff you want to do uh, or can do. This kind of depends what you want to do in terms of the action and, and the acting on a creature. Um, from a technical point of view, I definitely would not a leave the the front legs, arms like that. Depends. A, a wyvern is a wyvern, a dragon with four limbs. Can't remember. Because so you have one dragon that has this and no arms. Like these are the arms, and now we have extra arms. I can't remember if that's a wyvern. I should know. I apologize for not knowing. <laughs> but again, from a technical point of view, I wouldn't have them drag so much. A it looks like IK and they're almost too soon in it. It would still follow the chest and only for now on that big up move, the uh, the arms or front legs would start to drag. They just seem a bit soft. Now speaking of soft, <sighs> so as you do this, buckle the chest more and I would bring this translate up, like I said, straighter up, but a bit faster. <sighs> and I'm talking like three frames. It just needs a little bit of a just right there just a little bit faster but oh the drop is good hold on hold on depends because you have a flap in the small flap let's see i think this one's a bit slow here and this feels weird too here's the part again where arms just kind of feel locked and do their separate thing and then the chest goes down so you want to make sure that as they drag they come back up and maybe constrict a bit and then um i don't think constricting is the right word for arms and legs you know changing the toes a bit they don't feel like they're just kind of there in terms of ik stuff and then this moves separately but let me look at your cadence here so you have so you have two big ones okay hold on what am i seeing here you're doing big one seem pretty similar didn't i just read that you're doing a smaller and then a short big flap then a smaller flap okay hold on i'm old you're this high here but you're still this high this is the height this is the height you're going this lowish still this low so what I'd be careful about is that it seems like the timing is just the only difference. <sighs> a little bit. Even then, the timing is pretty similar. What I would do... So this is your big one. And I think your reversal is right. You're talking about the shapes as well. I think at this point you can probably bring up the membranes here a bit. This drags for sure. That's totally right. Then you got the reversal where I would probably 
rocked the tips a bit more. But that's all correct. But I think you're going up too soon. It's easy to see in this view too. Well, it depends. Again, if you're doing your um, head leads, the head is fine, but I'll be careful that the, the chest area, I will bring up the chest by around here-ish, where it's really the full on. <sighs> to me, the big move up is kind of from here to here. Here-ish <sighs> to that, right? To kind of delay the chest a bit but let me just see what you're doing here you have this again looks fine i think the shapes look fine as you continue you would have what is this here so a bigger i would do a bigger uh drag on the tips this membrane everything would be up like this is the wind resistance so all the shapes are up here personally like that's a bit too soon i would bring that still up tips up and this is a bit weird this is almost a reversal already so if you're doing a big flap first i would go full on and that's fine right and go Phew. and his down would mean that those arms are here wings are here and then you would have the closing at the end right but it would be basically let me go back here the wings the tips would drag till the you know pretty ends and only when you start reversing the tips reverse basically what you're doing here this is almost your downwards right with the bigger drag and then choo -choo, bigger reversal here so if you're doing a small and a big one your first big one needs to have a longer uh sorry a uh, a more dramatic downwards move in the wings right then as you go up from that position the wings would be a bit more broken they would fold more like this is all fine i'm not sure if you have anything here so maybe that's just the, the, as far as you can go in terms of the rig so that's good for a fold right the drag is good i would just go lower this seems kind of stunted where it just ends here so first flap go lower that's okay that reversal is a bit late there so that's good but by now bring those tips up and if you want to do a smaller one then it's okay but i would just go a bit lower they're just way too horizontal so i would i would go a bit here like this low but they're not go as low here you can just kind of keep them with the drag to here again with the membrane top drag here and then reverse and not have such a break so it's a bit more of a an adjustment flap you know like kind of maybe max here so it's more it's more basically what you're doing is it's kind of a and then i did one adjust and then and you can have a bit of a glide and then if you continue with it a cycle it could almost be a and then like that again like little, just little small ones but the small ones are going to be much faster so you have yeah this seems it's always so confused because it's kind of the similar thing so again i would go much lower on a big actual flap goes up and then it drops back down and you could potentially have even a bit of a just resting pose like this it depends how high it goes and it can drop a bit and then you do a to here and it go down up so like a little bit of a just almost like a whipping motion and it's pretty fast and right now that second one is super similar i do like this right here this moment of that you can make it maybe a tiny bit faster but that adjustment is cool and then probably as you go back into this if you can i would drag those tips more bit more draggy a bit more reversey i'm just a fan of exaggerated drag overlap there and then we're back into this they just seem very very similar i like your glide but if you want to have a separation which it seems like that's what you want to do right um i would look at a much bigger actual flap and then a much smaller adjustment flap and you can even go further with the adjustment flap where you know 
it's like this. It's a bit tilted. It goes up, and then on the drop, it starts to tilt a bit, and then you do adjustment flap, so then it can adjust again this way, and then as it levels out, that's your gliding phase. So through here, your dragon is doing, it's kind of doing its thing, and then it's steady again, then, but then you start with the flap again. Uh, but looking from the front view, side view, you do have your path going this way, which is correct. The wings do not go this way. They don't swim. It's not like the Roadrunner. And it's up to you if you want to do... I'm not the huge stickler on this. It, can, it looks pretty much like this. It's almost like that's your path. Um, sometimes you can do a bit of a adjustment like this. They go... You know, you can have an, you can, a figure eight um, in a more exaggerated fashion if you want. Again, I'm not super picky about that. Um, you can try it out since you just want to do a cycle. I think that's okay to explore. Um, Shot-wise, if this was in a shot, it, it would look... It would depend on the camera, the angle and the action of the character, the creature, you know. Sometimes the figure eights are just not visible from a specific angle, so I'm, I'm not super picky about this. It just, you know, whatever is better to sell the shot. I hear my dog whining in the background. I think he wants to get he wants to get out of this room. He's the one that raptor clawed himself into this room. And then speaking of offsets, uh, you know, as you do this, one leg will be lower than the other, one arm will be different. You know, it's just you know, those that asymmetry is going to be really cool and make it much more uh, much more creaturey because it's not going to be so clean. It's much more organic when it's all messy. So same thing when you do your your ups and downs. So at this point, um, you know, one will be Bit different than the other maybe around here they might meet and then at this point one would go faster than the other and it's i wouldn't favor always the left i would switch around and give this a bit of a, a messier messier look but i would say i would do that for now because it's it's still quite a change and i'm suggesting with the ups and all that good stuff and the timing and i think once you have that done then you can look at the tail because uh, again, it depends what you want to do. If you want to do a bit more of a side to side and the tail has its shoot, like it's whipping action on the move up. If you want, if you want to do more traditional drag overlap, then I would wait until this is finalized. Uh, that would be then easier to adjust. The big thing, if I would just look at like a first view, what what catches my, my eye. The IK look of these guys, not enough drag on these guys. The chest not being pushed enough. And I pushed it, like I said, the head as well. The wings are being being a bit too similar and a bit too slow. Actually, let's look at the timing just quick. Just want to double check. There's a common mistake that people do. No, that's good. The common mistake is that you do fast wings up slow wings uh fast wings down slow wings up which is not correct when they go down they are slow there's a lot more wind resistance here and then as they go up they fold as you have so nicely here less wind resistance that means they go up faster so yeah i will keep it at that i'm gonna leave notes at this point like that i hope that is helpful and uh if you have any questions as always email me let me know and that's it thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you